Hi, my name is Joanna Sanchez. Uh, I have a PhD in educational leadership uh, and policy. Uh, currently, I work as the chief of staff at Excelencia in Education. It's a nonprofit in Washington, D.C. And during that fellowship, uh, uh, which happened over the summer for graduate students, um, I was able to meet with Sarita Brown, who is the president of the organization uh, Excelencia in Education. And through that informational interview that I had with, with Sarita, I was able to learn a lot about the, the work that the nonprofit, their nonprofit uh, did uh, for Latino students across the country. And so when I was thinking of the kind of work that I wanted to do post postdoc, uh, I knew that I wanted to do work that uh, helped or served or contributed to the mission of uh, accelerating Latino student success in the country. And so I reached out again to the president, Sarita, uh, and asked her if there was any opportunities with the organization. It was a cold call. Uh, and she said uh, that she would welcome the opportunity to meet with me again. And so we did. And sure enough, uh, we were able to uh, find an opportunity to, for me to join their organization. And it so happened that that spring they were creating a new position as program manager for the Seal of Excelencia. And they felt that I had the, the skill set that could help uh, bring that new position to life and contribute to the to the organization overall. Interesting project that I've worked on at Excelencia as a chief of staff has been um, as kind of the intermediary working with uh, the Gates IFS uh, project. It's called it's IFS is intermediaries for scale. So basically, the Gates Foundation chose 12 organizations from across the country um, that they are funding to study institutional transformation. So what does that mean? Uh, that means basically that these institutions want to transform to better serve the students that attend their school. Um, so in our case, we are working with institutions who want to work on making sure that they are, inst that they are places where Latino students thrive. Um, not only do they enroll them, but they graduate them and lead them to, to success uh, in a career. Being a first generation student, uh, I didn't really have that many, um, or I really didn't know anybody that had a PhD degree other than uh, in my real world, in my, in my personal life, I didn't have anybody that um, had a PhD. The only folks in my, my immediate surroundings that had a PhD were professors that I stayed in touch with from undergrad. And so I only applied to one PhD program, which was at UT. And so I think that um, I, I limited myself um, in terms of asking for, for guidance and uh, learning more about the process and how to do it right. Uh, because I just didn't know. And so I was so fortunate that I landed at UT that I had the professors that I had, super grateful. Um, but I tell students that that's not the best way to do it. The best way to do it would be to, to research, to reach out to professors at your, in the programs that you're interested and, and learn more about the process. So uh, in terms of that, I, I was just very fortunate that I ended up at the best place for me.